Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Prehistoric Werewolves Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 that I created, and the rules for the challenge will be in the description below, as well as a playlist for all the videos in the series. Now, this challenge is based on the History Challenge and one of the other challenges called the Ultimate Decades Challenge. So, there will be death rolls and if you don't like death rolls for babies toddlers and pregnancies then you should not watch this series i do not however dwell on any of these things they're just removed from the game so if you remember last time we were with this family we did lose the mother and we are going to have just the father taking care of the infants. However, it is the infant's birthdays. So it just gave me the notification that they are going to become toddlers. And that will make things much easier. I did, however, start feeding them before I got the birthday notification. So we're just finishing that task up and then we'll probably get them to age up. Okay, happy birthday, Davin. Oh, good. Davin is going to be independent. We love to see that. No bonus trait, though. Happy birthday, Byron. And Byron is going to be a charmer. Okay, there's a bunch of werewolves over here, so we can challenge them to a spar. But we have to know them first. Okay. We only need to spar five werewolves. Then we need to unleash the beast... And level up to Apex and defeat Greg. That's going to be the hard part. Now, in my previous run through of this, where I was just testing things out to see how they would work, I had whoever fought Greg had to do a death roll if they lost. At first, I was just doing, okay, if they lost to Greg, you automatically died. But I think that's too harsh. I think what I should do is they have to survive a, an additional death roll, just them, if they fight Greg and lose. Because if you fight Greg and win, you actually get better chances of survival. And oh, I can't duel you or I can't spar with you. You're pregnant. So we got to find someone else that isn't pregnant. You're not a werewolf. Yvonne is also pregnant. So yeah, all the females are always pregnant. So I won't be able to spar with any of them unless it's like Rory, because Rory is not sparring with me. Why aren't you going to spar with me? Don't you like me? I didn't know that they might reject that. This guy, Rowan, for some reason just looks like he's pregnant. He's not. Why can they just walk through the stairs? I did not know that was a thing. I'm pretty sure I've seen Sims get stuck under the stairs before, but for some reason the toddlers can walk right through the underneath part of a stair. Oh, I'm going to have to fix that. Maybe if I put up a half wall, they won't be able to do that. And I'll just go ahead and put up a full wall. There's no real reason to have half walls here. Well, apparently devouring doesn't count as unleashing the beast, really? At least it gets me werewolf experience. Okay, I don't see a way for us to actually be mean to her. Okay, just breaking the sink will do it. Okay, so Dallas and Byron are going to be supportive. That's a good thing, because it makes Dallas in a better mood. You can devour mold? Well, that's easy. I did not know that... Oh, no. We're having an earthquake. So, I did not know that werewolves can devour mold. Oh, and the toddlers are stretching. Yeah, that's a bug. That even happens when you don't have mods. Okay. So, we have playful, playful, and playful. Everyone is playful. I'm actually going to consider what mood everyone is in at the time the disaster happens. So there are good moods and bad moods. And if you're in a really bad mood, then you get a couple of docked points. And then if you're in a good mood, you get additional points. So the reason why I do these sorts of things is because The Sims is just too easy to get so many good moods and so many bad moods and not take care of your sims and everything is just okay anyway well that's not how this particular series works 
Okay, so the season is summer, and here we go. Well, everyone survives, so on to the next thing. Oh no, Dallas dislikes fitness. That's not good. It's because he's very angry. When werewolves are angry, they tend to dislike everything. Why can I automatically fight her? I haven't really introduced myself. Well, this is going to make her hate us, but that's okay. She won. Well, this counts for unleashing the beast. We can only do this while we're enraged, though, and rampaging. No, stay here. Stay here. Come back. I need to do that 23 more times. <laughs> she runs away each time. This is going to take a long time. It's like she runs away every other time instead of every single time. <laughs> there she goes again. Oh, Dallas is going to be evil now. I guess it's because he's snarling at people all the time. Okay, if we get Lily to spar with us, this will be our fifth werewolf spar. And then we just need to unleash the beast about ten more times, level up to Apex, and defeat Greg. Oh no, we're getting another earthquake. Okay, well, we have to roll again. And let's wake everyone up to see what mood they're in. Well, we've got angry, sad, and energized this time. Okay, so I've updated the stats and we roll once again. Oh, we lost Davin. So at least we did not lose the greater wolf blood, but that means we only have one toddler now and he can't keep himself occupied or basically they communicate with each other and their attention need isn't as bad when they have each other so that's bad now the unfortunate part is if byron for some reason doesn't make it then we are stuck with a male that has no offspring and we might have to just end this line okay he's now an apex Okay, we've now smashed up the place and completed all of our aspiration except for defeating Greg. Okay, I'm not sure if Greg's appearance is tied to his trailer or not. So I just added the sign back and we'll see if we can make him appear. Yes, he does appear without it. Okay. And it looks like Greg is going to attack me. I forgot I didn't have the ability to do the confidence buff, so I may not have been ready for this. Okay, no, I lost to Greg. That's not good. Despite the fact that he is an apex and an alpha wolf. Yeah, I did not get the primal instinct one yet. Okay. So I have to get that one first in order to do the confidence buff. And then this alpha wolf is supposed to be win most fights and challenges against other werewolves. But the problem is a lot of these people also have that. And so it kind of balances out. And Greg has that as well. I don't know why it says Greg is going to get a taste of his own medicine. Okay, so we're just going to roll for Dallas since he lost to Greg. And he got an 81 and survived anyway. So it's not that hard to survive a death roll, but I think it's a little harsh to make losses to Greg an automatic death. Oh no, now they're strict. Okay, if you ask your toddler to do anything, you're considered strict. Because a toddler knows what he needs best. I mean, why wouldn't a toddler know when his diaper needs to be changed and when he's dirty and needs a bath? And, well, I, I give the hunger part. They definitely know when they're hungry. But how can a toddler communicate to you that he needs a bath or that he needs his diaper changed? Because all the toddlers that I know are perfectly happy to go around in a dirty diaper. And even perfectly happy to be dirty and not get a bath because they don't like getting their hair wet anyway. And if you are the one that to suggest, oh, you need a diaper change, you're considered strict. 
instead of just checking on the toddler and relying on them to ask for a diaper change. What kind of new age parenting is this, EA? Oh, and now he's being mean. Well, that's not good. Oh, why did he kick him? Come on, don't do that. It's hard to keep these toddlers from being mad. Well, he's confident, even though I didn't get to do my primal instinct. But he's probably not going to be confident for the entire fight. It's only 15 minutes left on it. Well, it's Friday. It's probably the last time I'll chance fighting Greg. Maybe. Oh, he won. Good. He finished his aspiration then. And that also gives him a benefit for having fought Greg and won. I think we'll try for the fishing aspiration next. But we should go home and sleep. My favorite part of toddlers is asking why. Because the adult has the best reactions. At first they ponder. And then they kind of explain things. And then they get kind of upset. And then they get a little annoyed. And the more and more you do it, they get angrier and angrier. And then they just lose it. And if you keep doing it over and over again after they lose it, they keep losing it. So why is this kid asking why so many times? Because I need to increase my thinking skill. And also my communication. Plus he needs attention. So I'm getting three things done at once. Okay, we have mastered the thinking skill. Now we just need to work on communication. And we mastered communication. All right, time to just play in the tent and play with the dollhouse. And we should be good. Well, we've made a lot of progress on the fishing aspiration. So we need to reach level six fishing and then we will be on the last step. So I think that's what Dallas is going to work on. And then hopefully Byron will grow into a child on Sunday, the next time we visit this family. So this is the end of the week and we're going to say no more disasters. Hopefully there isn't one while I'm talking here. And make sure you join my Discord server and we will be having giveaways for free packs for The Sims 4 October 4th through 6th when I will be live streaming from a convention. So make sure you join the Discord server in the comments or in the description in order to get the details on that. And this is Charity. Thanks for watching.